Okay, so it seems that we had some bad audio on the last video. That's because the uh, microphone is on my laptop. And my laptop was using the microphone instead of me using the microphone that's around my head right now, which is like a headset. But uh, you don't really need that explanation, do you? You just want to get on with the math. So I apologize for uh, going astray. Okay, here we go. So we have a situation here where we have a rectangle. As you know, rectangles have a length and a width. And as you might remember, perimeter is the distance around a rect rectangle. Okay, there's the P for perimeter. So to find the perimeter of a rectangle, would you agree that you just take two times the length plus two times the width and you've got yourself the perimeter? Okay, so let's say, and I'm just going to read this out, let's say that the perimeter was 83 centimeters and the width was 12 and you're asked to find the length. Okay, so once again, the perimeter is 83. So you write it underneath the P right here. Now it also says that the width, so I'm going to write the length again, the width is 12 centimeters. Oops, I forgot to put that 2 in the front. Okay. So what you have to do using this information is find out what the length is. What you really need to do is um, get this situation so the L is all by itself. Well, let's do that. Okay. 83 is equal to 2 times the length plus, what's 2 times 12? 24. And how do we get rid of the 24 so that we can start getting the L all by itself? That's right. Subtract 24 from both sides. That's supposed to be a minus sign there. Okay, so next we go 83 minus 24, and whoops, I've got the wrong pen color here. 83 minus 24 should get 59. Okay. And then we end up uh, saying, how do we get the 2? out of there. How do we get the L all by itself? Well, divide both sides by 2, just like we did in the last lesson. So we end up getting L is equal to, notice it doesn't really matter which way you do it. You could have L equals this way or L on this side, but let's just do it this way. 59 divided by 2, it's not a perfect number, it's not, it's a number that has a decimal. 29 and a half, or 29.5, centimeters is the length. Okay, that's our length right here. So, let's uh, move on to the next question. Let's say you're at a, you want to rent uh, a hall for a party, and the hall costs 500 bucks no matter what, but the hall also charges $12 per person to rent it. Okay? What happens if 20 people came? Well, here's the C is the cost. X is how many people are coming. So what you do is you say, if 20 people came, where would you put the 20? Well, you put the 20 right where you see the X. So let's write that out here. Okay, so C is equal to 12 times 20. Remember, I'm putting the 20 where the X is, plus 500. Okay. So if you do that on your calculator, 12 times 20, you get 240. And then just add those numbers up. It's going to cost, and you could put a sentence if you were doing this for real here. You could say, it will cost $740 to rent the hall if 12 people show up. All right? You could use the same equation for the next type of question kind of like this yellow pen here. If the total cost was $1,580, the question should say, how many people showed up? How many people showed? That's all I have room for. How many people showed? All right, so this is what you do. You put the 1580 right here. Notice 1580 is going right where the cost is, where the C is, okay? 
Over here you write the 12. We don't know how many people, so we put the x plus 500. And then you start to say, okay, I need to get the x all by itself. Start by getting rid of the 500. Bring it to the other side. Okay, whatever you do to this side, do to this side. 1580 minus 500, you should be telling me that is 1080 is equal to 12x. Okay, last step is to get rid of the 12. Divide both sides by 12. And our final answer is going to be x equals, so this cancelled, 1080. I'm doing it on my calculator right now. 1080 divided by 12. And I have 90 as an answer. So now I know that 90 people showed up to that party if the total cost was 1580. And that's our final answer, just like Jeopardy. And that is the last video from this uh, Unit 1. Congratulations. Um, there's a quiz coming up. But before you do the quiz, you're welcome to do... Uh, I'm going to make a quick worksheet so that you have some practice doing this stuff. Because two examples isn't much to deal with, is it? Okay, I'll stop talking so you can get going. Good luck, and keep moving.